Hey, what's happening, guys? This is Tito back with another video, and today in this video, I'm gonna show you how to install the Cardinal AOSP ROM, which is based on Android Oreo 8.0 on Redmi Note 3. So, without further delay, let's make it happen. If you are a regular viewer of KTN Tech, you should already know which ROM I am using right now. In case you are not, subscribe right now because much more awesome videos like these are coming soon. And let me tell you, I am on official LineageOS which is based on Android Nougat. So first, let's go to the XDA thread which is linked below and from there, we have to download the ROM and GApps and move the files to our device. Once done, reboot the phone into TitoBrap Recovery. When you are booted into TitoBrap Recovery, go to Wipe, then Advanced Wipe. Now select Cache, Dalvik Cache, System and Data. Now swipe to Wipe. Once done, go back, go back, go to install, locate the ROM and GApps file. Swipe to confirm flash and bam error 7. Well, let's try one more time with the latest firmware file. And bam, error 7 again. Oh, hell no! Well, do not worry, this is why I am here for you. Go to the XDA thread I showed you before, and from there, download this TWR recovery, which is developed by the Strix, and I will show you how to flash it. Go to your current TWRP, hit install, select install image. Then locate the new TWRP file, select recovery, now swipe to confirm flash. Now go back, go back and reboot to recovery. For some reason it booted into the ROM. You can just switch off the phone and reboot to recovery by pressing the volume up and the power button together. As you can see, we are in the TWRP version 3.1.1/1. Now go to install and locate the ROM and GApps file and swipe to confirm flash. As you can see, it started flashing now. So let's wait for the time being. Once the flashing is done, hit reboot system and wait for 5 to 10 minutes. As we are booted into the ROM, let me set it up. In the meantime, let's talk what's working and what not here. First of all, Vault calling is working from the first boot, so no issues there. Wi-Fi, camera, torch, double tap to sleep on the status bar, fingerprint scanner, everything is working for me. I have APC scanner by the way. This ROM is very smooth and it's very close to stock Android but it has a little bit customization options and interesting features too which you will find in the Wink settings. Watch me going through these settings if you are interested in.
and I think the only con of this ROM, the picture in picture mode of audio is not working here, at least I think so. Here is a proof of working vault decalling. These are the preloaded apps for this ROM. Here is how it looks like after installing my daily launcher, wallpaper and apps. I am using the latest pixel launcher by the way, which will be linked below so do not worry. I love this pixel like navigation buttons in this ROM. In the display settings, we have a device theme option from where you can set it to pixel blue or stock green, whichever you like. I like the pixel blue personally, so I will go with that. From the battery section, you can turn battery percentage which shows in the status bar on or off. Here is an example of Google Assistant working. Ok Google. What's the weather? So that wraps it up for this video guys. If you have any questions, queries or suggestions, let me know in the comment section down below. If you like this video, hit the big thumbs up button. If you didn't, put it down. Please subscribe to the channel right here and I will see you soon. Bye bye now.